a moon with one face as bright as snow and another as dark as coal. Mountains so tall that they dwarf Everest. What's going on here? Meet Iapetus, Saturn's enigmatic moon that's got scientists scratching their heads. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll discover why this moon might just be the key to unlocking some of the universe's deepest secrets. Picture Two-Face, the iconic Batman villain. One side of his face is clean cut, the other scarred and menacing. Now, amplify that duality on an exponentially bigger scale. You've got Iapetus, a moon of Saturn that's the embodiment of contrast. So what's the story behind this extreme split? Enter Phoebe, another moon of Saturn, shedding material like a snake sheds its skin. Iapetus, trailing in Phoebe's orbital path, becomes the unwitting recipient of this material. But let's be clear, this isn't just a light dusting, this is a foot-deep layer of organic compounds. It's as if one side of Iapetus is a treasure chest, and when you open it, you find not gold or jewels, but the very building blocks of life. It's a discovery that makes you rethink what moons can harbor. It makes us wonder if similar ingredients could be scattered elsewhere in the cosmos. A tantalizing thought. Now, onto the temperature. The dark side of Iapetus is a heat magnet. It's not just a little warmer, it's a drastic shift. On Earth, you'd have to travel thousands of miles to experience such temperature extremes. On Iapetus, this dramatic shift happens in a much more confined space. It's like the moon is defying the rules of climate, creating its own micro-environments in close proximity. And here's why you should care. Iapetus is more than just a celestial oddity. It's a natural laboratory that's challenging our fundamental understanding of how moons, and perhaps even planets, interact with their environment. It's like a puzzle piece that doesn't fit in any known puzzle. But maybe, just maybe, it's part of a much larger, more complex puzzle that we're just beginning to understand. A puzzle that could help us decode the mysteries of the universe itself. Imagine a mountain so big that it makes Mount Everest look like a sandcastle at the beach. Now, what if that mountain was just the beginning of an unbelievably colossal range? That's the equatorial ridge on Iapetus, a formation that leaves you questioning the very rules of celestial architecture. So what's the origin story of this awe-inspiring mountain range? The theories are as captivating as the ridge itself. One popular idea suggests that Iapetus once had its own ring system, akin to Saturn's iconic rings. Over time, these rings could have collapsed onto the moon, creating this monumental structure. Think of it as a necklace that's so heavy it permanently indents itself into your skin. Another theory speculates that a younger, faster-spinning Iapetus had the material gravitate towards its equator due to centrifugal force, forming this towering range. Imagine a spinning top that starts to wobble and deform as it spins at increasingly higher speeds. But the sheer height of the ridge isn't the only thing that's mind-boggling. The peaks rise up to 20 kilometers and align with an almost uncanny precision along the moon's equator. It's like watching a tightrope walker perform a flawless routine on a wire stretched across the Grand Canyon. This level of geometric exactness is so rare in natural formations that it leaves scientists with more questions than answers. Are we looking at an unknown phenomena that challenges our current scientific understanding? If you were to pass by the moon in a spacecraft, this mountain range would be the first thing to command your attention. It's not just a geographical marvel. It's a signature feature that sets this moon apart from all others, adding another layer of complexity and intrigue to an already mysterious celestial body. And why does this mountain range matter? Because it's not just a visual spectacle, it's a tantalizing clue. It offers insights into Iapetus' past, its intricate interactions with its environment, and perhaps even the broader mechanics of celestial body evolution. In essence, this moon is like a locked treasure chest, and the mountain range might just be the key to a greater cosmic understanding. Remember when the Rosetta Stone was discovered in 1799? That slab of rock completely transformed our understanding of Egyptian hieroglyphs, opening up a whole new world of historical insight. Now imagine a discovery of similar magnitude, but instead of stone, it's a colossal crater on a distant moon. That's Engelier on Iapetus, a feature so puzzling it could rewrite what we know about celestial impacts and moon geology. The Rosetta Stone cracked open a new understanding of human history. Engelier this massive crater, 
has the potential to do the same for our understanding of the moon Iapetus and perhaps even our solar system. Picture the Grand Canyon, but on a scale so massive it could engulf entire cities. The impact that created Engelier was so cataclysmic it nearly shattered the entire moon. Imagine a wrecking ball in space, swinging with enough force to create its own gravitational pull. And here's where Engelier further defies expectations. It's oddly flat. Most impact craters have a central peak due to the rebound effect after impact. This crater doesn't. It's as if someone took a cosmic steamroller and flattened out the usual rugged features we expect from such a violent event. This has led to theories that the impacting object might have been soft, perhaps made of ice rather than rock. Imagine getting hit with a snowball instead of a baseball. The impacting is the same, but the aftermath is very different. And just when you think you've got Engelia figured out, consider its surroundings. The crater is circled by a series of smaller craters, like a necklace of impacts, each telling a different story about Iapetus' tumultuous past. It's as if the moon is wearing its history on its sleeve, daring us to decode it. Engelier isn't just a hole in the ground. It's a historical record. It offers clues about the moon's past, the nature of the object that hit it, and even the moon's internal structure. In essence, Engelier serves as a kind of cosmic Rosetta Stone, holding secrets that can help us understand not just this puzzling moon, but potentially the history and mechanics of our entire solar system. Think about the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's an architectural marvel that's captivated people for centuries, not just for its beauty, but for its defiance of what we consider normal. It leans. It tilts. It rebels against gravity. And yet it stands. Now let's talk about Iapetus' orbit, the celestial equivalent of this iconic tower. Most moons in our solar system keep one face turned towards their planet to do synchronous rotation. This means they rotate on their axis in the same time it takes to orbit their planet. It's like a compass needle that always points north. A predictable and stable relationship. But Iapetus is the compass needle that spins erratically. It's tilted on its axis by a staggering 15 degrees. A deviation so significant, it's like a car suddenly swerving into oncoming traffic, causing everyone to question the rules of the road. For context, our own moon has an axial tilt of just about 1.5 degrees relative to Earth's orbital plane. Iapetus' 15-degree tilt is like comparing a gentle hill to a steep mountain. This extreme tilt means that the different parts of the moon experience wildly differing amounts of sunlight and darkness. Imagine trying to predict the weather in a place where the sun's path is as unpredictable as the stock market. The climate is unbelievably erratic. This tilt also affects how we study Iapetus. Traditional models for moon behavior have to be thrown out the window, forcing scientists to go back to the drawing board. Escalating matters, we don't know why it's tilted. Theories range from ancient collisions to gravitational interactions with other moons or even dark matter. Some scientists even speculate that Iapetus captured a smaller moon that collided with it, causing the tilt. It's a mystery that has puzzled astronomers for decades. Just like the Leaning Tower of Pisa challenges our understanding of architecture and stability, Iapetus' peculiar orbit could very well redefine how we understand the mechanics of the universe itself. Now picture the first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong, taking that historic one small step. Now imagine if that step took not a fraction of a second, but an entire 79 days to complete. That's the pace at which Iapetus rotates on its axis, a slow motion event that's unlike anything else we see in our solar system. In a universe where celestial bodies often move at varying speeds, Iapetus is the tortoise in a cosmic race. While some moons, like Jupiter's low, complete a rotation in just 42 hours, others, like Earth's moon, take about 27 days. But even that seems fast when you consider Iapetus's 79-day rotation. It's like comparing a sprinter to someone who takes a leisurely stroll in the park. This isn't just a quirk, it's an anomaly that has scientists scratching their heads. But why should we care about this snail-paced rotation? Because it has profound implications for the moon's geology and climate. A slow rotation means that the moon's day and night cycles are incredibly long. Imagine living in a world where a single day lasts longer than two months. The temperature differences between day and night would be extreme, 
like going from a scorching desert to a freezing tundra in the same spot. This slow rotation also affects the moon's shape, making it slightly elongated rather than spherical. It's as if Iapetus is stretching itself, trying to keep up with its own lethargic pace. This elongation could even affect the moon's gravitational field, creating unique patterns that are unlike anything we've seen on other moons. Theories about its slow rotation range from its isolation in space, far from the gravitational pull of other moons, to the possibility that it was once part of a binary moon system that broke apart. Some scientists even think that Iapetus' slow rotation could be a clue to understanding dark matter, one of the most mysterious substances in the universe. Just as Armstrong's one small step opened up a universe of possibilities for human exploration, the slow rotation of Iapetus invites us to explore a universe of questions that could redefine our understanding of celestial mechanics. From its two-faced appearance to its rebellious orbit and slow motion rotation, this moon is a treasure trove of cosmic mysteries. Just as the Leaning Tower of Pisa and Neil Armstrong's One Small Step challenged our perspectives and opened new doors, Iapetus beckons us to question, explore, and marvel at the wonders of the universe. It's not just a moon, it's a cosmic riddle waiting to be solved. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the video on your screen next. I'm sure you're going to love it just as much as this one. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.